Welcome aboard. I just want to show you how I sealed the containers that's holding the batteries so that the hydrogen isn't released into the basement. I have the, uh, on the one side, I have the garden hose going out. I'll show you here in a little bit. First of all, I'll show you this. This bolt, I think it's 3 eighths, it's a washer on one side, the steel washer, and a rubber washer on the other side. I bought it like that. It fits really, really snug to the threads. It's kind of difficult to turn. And the more compression on that makes it tighter to the threads. So I put a washer to that. That'll seal to the tub when I put on the garden hose. I got a rubber one, not the plastic one. Okay? And then I slide this through the tub. And on the other side of the tub, the same way. The rubber washer, the steel washer, and another one. I don't see it here. It's a steel rubber. And then I put the nut on. And I'll show you exactly how that fits together. So that... The tub goes right in the middle here. You can't see it. Better. I got it on both the hot and the cold wires. It's hard to do it like that. There we are. There's the two bolts coming out. And can't see it through the camera like this. But there's another one. So you get to see the garden hose coming out of this one and the two posts coming out. So that's how I did it. So all the hydrogen goes out. The tubs are sealed. The lids are not sealed. I'll have to figure something out. Maybe some gasket material to go around then put something on the tub. This one's got a pretty good lip on it, all the way around. Um, this is the one we used in the combat zone. So, it does not have a rubber ring, but it's got a beveled edge inside it. So, it's not so easy for the air to come out. So, just a quick tip for the young... DIY solar people that want to follow along with my videos. I'm not a genius at this. Uh, uh, it was so much easier in, in the past because what I did was uh, grid tie, grid tie inverters, okay? So with that is basically it plugs in to the outlet. Plugs right into the outlet, nothing to worry about. Except for if the power goes out, you no longer have power either. So, I don't have a generator, hence the battery banks. So, nine little batteries on this side, over here, on this side. And the two real batteries down here that are not connected yet. So, I didn't turn that inverter on for that light. But the, the two great big batteries down there are way more than these nine little batteries. It's like an extra 100 and, 150 amp hours more, something like that. That's why I went with the big batteries, so I could do it right this time. There's a lot to learn. There's an awful, amazing, a lot to learn. So on the YouTube channel, I have a lot of other solar friends out there. So I could video marathon what they have going on and I can learn. So the lugs are like $10 each. And I bought a dozen. And then one of my solar friends said, why don't you make it out of copper tubes? So you flatten the one end down with a hammer. You drill a hole through there, and you leave a little bit, put the wire on, and you solder it in there. 
It's the only way you can do it. But you're not spending $120 on lugs for just six cables. So I thank you guys out there that's, that's showing me and teaching me so I can put these videos out to help everybody else. I got this inverter because I want to take the refrigerator off grid completely. It's not running 24 hours a day off this yet. I have to build the solar arrays and then bring more solar panels out the side. This is two to 400. I bought it because it said 400. That's double what I need. It's a 200 watt refrigerator. No, it's a 2,000 watt inverter. 400 max. Be careful of what you're looking for out there because when they say it's a 400 watt inverter, it's not. So I had this running and I opened the refrigerator door up and the lights were flickering. On off, on off, on off, on off, on off, on off. And, and I shut it all down immediately. This inverter is going to go into the EMP box. That'll be another video. So it'll run a radio and a few other things if there's an emergency and all I have to do is run out, you know, I got the battery bank. If, if, the, if the grid goes down, I at least have, if there's a radio in the area. So I have a couple lights anyway. I'm sure there's going to be another inverter or more going into that container. It's a trash can. It's a steel trash can. And uh, I'll have that video up soon. Alright, thank you for watching and have a nice sunny day.